What's going on Guardians? My name is Halen and I am back with Destiny Item Management Part 2 using DIM or the Destiny Item Manager. Now in the first video we talked about basic functions, comparing and tagging items, and how I go about cleaning out a vault before a new content launch, uh, as well as the loadout optimizer which conveniently after the last video has been updated so it looks a little bit different. Uh, in this video, we're going to go over a couple new functions and some things that will help you for yet another content drop and take a quick look at the new loadout optimizer, which really hasn't changed that much, but I'll show you what has. In the last video, I talked a little bit about the search bar and used some things like is tagged, I believe, to find some things that I had tagged. So this is from the last iteration. This is the stuff that I really wanted to keep. And as you can see, I've accumulated even more stuff since then. There's all this gray area that's been uh, filled in because I deleted the majority of everything else that's not tagged here. Um, but there are some other parameters and some other methods that you can use up here. One that's going to be really useful right now is is colon reacquirable. Uh, this will give you any item that you can take out of your collection, which I talked about last time. And I'm not sure if this parameter existed or if I just missed it. Um, something else that a lot of people I think don't know about is you can chain these. So if I want to see something that is reacquirable but is also um, not, we're going to do random roll. So it took away a couple options there. Some items are totally fixed in their roll. So those are the ones that are really safe to delete. So if you want to make sure you're deleting the right kind of item and you may miss something that you got uh, random rolled, then you can use a combination of these two. Now moving on to another search method that you can use, that is the word stat. And then you can use colon, and there's actually a number of stats that you can do. So there's impact, uh, there's recoil or reload, recoil direction. Um, but this is something that you can use to really fine tune your search whenever you're making a loadout. Let's say you go watch your favorite YouTuber and PvPer, he says that no hand cannon is worth it unless it has an impact of you know over 80 so i can come up here and i can write stat and find the impact stat and it's going to be impact greater than 80. so i get a lot of weapons here and <laughs> conveniently most weapons with an impact higher than 80 are indeed hand cannons but i want to make sure so i do and and do is hand cannon as you can see, you don't even have to use the word and. Uh, it already knows that this is the item that you're looking for that satisfies both of these requirements. So here are all my hand cannons that have an impact over 80. And now I can follow that build uh, using whatever I have here and fit that into uh, a loadout. Now the last search method that I want to talk about is source. Now the most important source that we're worried about right now before Shadowkeep is Eververse because we have seen in an update from Bungie that the Eververse items are going to be able to be pulled from collections using Glimmer and Shards. It's no longer going to require uh, Bright Dust. And after that change, we're also not going to be able to get Bright Dust back from those items if we delete them. We'll just get Glimmer or Shards, or I'm not really sure. Um, so it's in our interest to delete these items before the update. So if I do this here, I can find everything that is a source or that came from Eververse. And these should be the items that will delete into Bright Dust. So I can stockpile my Bright Dust before the update. And as you can see, there's a lot of things like ships, sparrows, and these especially, the shaders. So this is a lot of Bright Dust that I can cash in on. So I'm going to have to go through this and delete them all uh, before I believe it's October 1st really good search method and if you're looking for something else if there's another item that you're looking for and you want to find out how you could find it or quickly go through your inventory just click on the question mark up here in the search field and it will give you a big long list along with their parameters now let's quickly go over the loadout optimizer i'm not going to spend too much time on this because it's essentially the same it just looks a little different instead of the slot boxes up here at the top and all your loadouts at the bottom, you now have the select perk button. And if you click that, you'll get this pop-up. And inside of this pop-up, you have the slots up here. Uh, you could just scroll down if you want, but I easily lose my place. So you could just click and it will center it on that slot. So I have 
my helmets here. Let's just say I want to use Celestial Nighthawk, so I'm going to click that. And that's it for my selections there. And my gauntlets, let's just say I want Fusion Rifle Reloader so I can, you know, reload and get that um, overpowered shot on my Fusion Rifle as quick as possible. Um, and I also want Heavy Finder, etc., etc. And you're going to do this for all of your slots. I'm just going to pick some random ones here. And once you're done, you're going to see here at the bottom, you have your helmet slot, your glove slot. And at first I didn't like this version of the loadout optimizer because I couldn't see exactly what I was getting unless I was scrolling back up and down. But then I noticed here at the bottom, I'm not sure if it came in a later update or not, that they had this here. So it's a little easy. Now, the big thing you want to get used to doing is not clicking the X once you've finished everything. You actually want to click this button here that says select perks. Because if you don't, it's not going to save them and input them. So you click this button and here are your loadout uh, options that you've selected and it's going to apply these. The other update that I, I really appreciate from this is the ease of uh, eliminating certain items from your loadout. So let's say I just do not want, well, this is pretty much all the same items here, but let's just say I don't want to use this cloak. I can take it, drag it here to items to exclude, and it's going to not give me loadouts with that item. Same thing with the helmet. Obviously, I'm going to lock this helmet because that's the only thing that you can put. And let's say I've compared all the different gloves I want and I know that these are the gloves I want. I'm going to lock that. And we're just going to keep going. And, and this is the way you can tell the system that I absolutely want this piece, but I don't want this one. Give me something else that also works with the perks that I've selected. So you can just drag and drop here. And that's a lot easier from the last one. It was a little bit wonky trying to pick the items that you wanted to, ex to exclude. There's also some other bu buttons over here that we've had before, like minimum power. I believe that was still there. You can set that just in case you've been farming a lot or especially after a new update. We just want to get the highest, right? That's also a coherent build. So we can set this to something reasonable. And if you want to min-max your stats, which we're getting new stats. So this will also be kind of nice. I, I, I'm going to find myself using this a lot more, I think, in the future. Um, you can set your your stat limit or thresholds here. And finally, the last thing for this video is going to be wish lists. So if you click on a button up here in the top corner, you'll see this gift icon. And if you click it, it will take you to Banshee 44. Uh, this site allows you to look at different weapons and make a loadout for that weapon. Now you might be saying, well, I can already do this in them. And that's correct. You, you can make a loadout or see if you have this weapon. But let's say you know you don't have the weapon, but you want to get one that's like it. So this is your god roll of this weapon. Um, what I can do, let's just go up here to something that, what, what's something that people farm a lot, like Blast Furnace, for example. Let's find Blast Furnace. We click on that, and let's just say you do want that sight. And you want Flared Magwell, Outlaw's pretty good, but you want Rampage. And the only thing I don't like about this, and hopefully they there's a way to change this, or maybe someone out there that's a little more savvy at how the software reads can tell me, um, is this part right here, the Masterwork. I, I don't necessarily care about this because I could maybe reroll it, but, you know, ideally, what if I just wanted the reload speed? So I want at least a tier 3 reload speed. Uh, the, only pro the only reason I don't like this is because, let's be honest, if I get all these up here that I want, I could care less about the masterwork, what stat it is. But if I finish setting up the weapon the way I want it, I can come here, copy paste the link, and open up a text file. So I've already have, I already have one here. Um, and I can copy paste the link into this text file, just a line break, and save it. And if I go to my settings, I can scroll down, find this wish list area here, go to my documents and drag and drop the text file that I've made with all the Banshee 44 links in it. If I drop it there, it will say wish list loaded with information about three roles. Okay. And I'll click okay. And back in my inventory, I believe I've added something that I, I do indeed own, but I can come up here and use the search parameter is wish list. And yes, I did put something in there that I indeed had, and it will highlight it for me. So this is one of those ways that you can just mindlessly throw things into your vault and not really think too much about it and quickly just run a check to see if you got really what you wanted. 
Now, I'm not telling you this is going to be the, the catch-all for the items. You should probably still just glance at them. Another way to use the switch list is to just share things with people. Because you can click on the item, click on that, and send them the link, and they can just add it. A lot of people ask the question, like, what is the god rule for this weapon? So you can just do that, throw it over there. Maybe they don't really care about it, but it'd be nice to know if they, they got it to drop. So they can make a wish list with it and easily see. And if your vault is overflowing right now, don't forget to go back and watch part one where I talk about just, you know, comparing items, tagging them, building your loadouts, and moving them all over to your characters, at least the ones that you're actually going to use, and easily deleting the stuff that you don't want. Also, I want to hear from you guys in the comments. What are you looking most forward to in Shadowkeep? I personally am looking forward to Armor System 2.0 as I think it will decrease my armor hoarding tremendously and allow me to have the set for every situation while still looking good. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please express it with a like and subscription below and I'll see you in the next video.